You've probably seen the videos of bull riders getting tossed around like rag dolls at the rodeo, but have you ever stopped to think about just how dangerous this sport really is? In 1989, bull riding lost one of its brightest stars when 25-year-old Lane Frost lost his life at the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo. This vibrant and charismatic cowboy seemed destined for greatness, but in a cruel twist of fate, his life was cut tragically short. Lane's story serves as a sobering reminder of the life-threatening risks these athletes face each and every time they climb onto the back of an angry bull. So strap on your boots and hang on to your hat because you're about to learn the tragic true story of bull riding legend Lane Frost. If there was ever a cowboy destined for greatness in the sport of bull riding, it was Lane Frost. Born in 1963 in Oklahoma, Lane grew up on a ranch and was riding bulls from an early age. Lane Frost grew up immersed in the rodeo lifestyle. His parents were both champion rodeo competitors, so it was no surprise when Lane started competing in junior rodeos at just six years old. By age 12, he was competing in youth rodeos and had won over 200 buckles. Lane also had won his first bull riding event. His passion and natural talent for the sport were evident to all who watched him ride. By 15, he had won his first bull riding title. Over the next decade, Lane dominated the sport and became a legend. At 17, Frost earned his PRCA permit and began competing professionally on the rodeo circuit. By age 19, Lane was the youngest bull rider to ever qualify for the National Finals Rodeo, NFR. His boyish charm and bravado made him an instant fan favorite. Lane went on to have a very successful high school rodeo career, earning a rodeo scholarship to college. However, Lane's true love was bull riding, and after just one year of college, he went off to join the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, PRCA circuit. Frost started out riding in small rodeos around Oklahoma and Texas. He won Rookie of the Year in 1985 and began making a name for himself on the circuit. His breakout year came in 1987 when he won over $100,000 and earned his first Wrangler National Finals rodeo qualification in bull riding. This success rocketed him into the national spotlight as one of rodeo's up-and-coming stars. In 1987, Lane drew a bull named Freckles at the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo. Freckles was a massive bull known for being unrideable. However, Lane managed to stay on Freckles for a full eight seconds, scoring a 91, one of the highest scores of his career. Lane and Freckles had a rematch later that year at the NFR, which Lane also won cementing his status as a star on the PRCA circuit. In 1987, at just 23 years old, Lane won the PRCA World Bull Riding Champion title. The charismatic and talented rider was a fan favorite, known for his showmanship and daring style. Lane lived for the eight seconds he spent on the back of a bucking bull. The pinnacle of Frost's career came in 1989 when he claimed the PRCA World Championship in bull riding. He won over $200,000 that year and earned his second Wrangler NFR qualification. At just 25 years old, Frost had achieved his lifelong goal of becoming world champion. Tragically, this would be his final season competing professionally before his untimely death later that year. On July 30th, 1989, Lane climbed onto a massive bull named Take In Care of Business. This was a bull Lane had ridden before, though not without some difficulty. As the chute opened, the bull burst out in a frenzy of bucking and kicking. Lane held on tightly, spurring the bull to gain points, his free arm waving with each jump and dip. For a few brief seconds, it seemed Lane had matched the bull's intensity and power. Suddenly, the bull changed direction and ducked to the right. Lane's body followed, but his hand became caught in the bull rope. His wrist broke with a snap that could be heard throughout the arena. Lane was dragged along the ground as the bull spun and kicked. When the bull finally released him, Lane lay motionless in the dirt. The arena fell silent. Rodeo clowns rushed in to distract the bull so emergency responders could get to Lane. He was quickly transported to the hospital where doctors worked for over an hour trying to stabilize him, but the damage was too severe. Lane's chest and brain had been crushed, and at just 25 years old, his life came to an end. The rodeo world was stunned. How could their rising star be gone so suddenly? Lane Frost was more than just a bull rider. 
He was a champion known for his charisma and sportsmanship. Though his life was cut short, Lane's memory lives on. The rodeo community was devastated by the loss of Lane Frost. Rodeo stars and organizers honored Lane's memory in touching tributes. The Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo held a moment of silence, and fellow bull riders wore armbands with Lane's number 777. Cody Lambert, Lane's best friend, organized a memorial bull riding event where top riders competed in Lane's honor. The event raised money for a college fund for Lane's young daughter. Lane's parents, Clyde and Elsie Frost, were presented with their son's saddle, chaps, and bull rope in a heart-wrenching ceremony. Though overcome with grief, they took solace knowing Lane died, doing what he loved. The Frost went on to establish the Lane Frost Brent Thurman Scholarship to help students attend college. The PBR and bull riding community vowed to make safety a higher priority to prevent similar tragedies. They implemented new rules like increasing the time riders have to exit the chute and improving protective gear. The PBR also named their champion bull rider award the Lane Frost Brent Thurman Award to honor Lane's memory and inspire future generations of riders. Lane's legend also lives on through the biopic film Eight Seconds, starring Luke Perry and by keeping his memory alive at events. Though his life was cut short, Lane Frost's impact on bull riding and rodeo will endure forever. His story serves as an inspiration, reminding us to follow our dreams and embrace life with the same passion, heart, and sportsmanship that Lane did. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content like this.